Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I have a really exciting video for you guys to learn how to do and it's on this burgundy matte eyeshadow look. I don't know what for some reason every time I try to say my eyeshadow looks like I say it really slowly like I have no idea what it is. This is the look and if you guys like it and want to learn how to do it then just keep on watching. Really quick I want to go over some of the palettes that I'm going to be using. This one is the Morphe 35W and the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. The first step to priming my eyes I use concealer. I'm just going to be going in with this NYX uh, color correcting palette. Uh, for this look, we're going to be going for a reddish look and we don't want to cancel that out. In fact, we want to bring it out. So I'm going to be going in with this pink shade right here. It's applying that all over the lid. Just like patting it. Don't rub it. Just pat because you've already placed some powder there and you don't really want to disturb it. Whenever you're picking out a brush for your transition color, you have to make sure it's buff. Buff. You have to make sure it's uh, fluffy enough. So you're going to do this with a super light hand. You don't want to like scratch it in. You want it to be as light and fluffy as possible and you barely want to be touching your skin with the brush. To achieve that burgundy effect, I'm going to go in with my Brights palette and I'm going to be going in with that red shade you see here and I'm going to be working that in the inner part of the crease and I'm just going to be loading up my brush but you're going to do it lightly at the beginning and the darker you want it, you start pushing your brush a little bit more deep. So lightly start placing that shadow in. So I'm going to be going in with that really, really dark red and I'm going to start doing the shape to wing it out and then working it in the crease. Oh, I love this brush. Oh my God. Okay. Yes. Give it to me. Oh my God. So as you can see, we're starting to kind of like blend it to a point where we can start creating that wing effect. I think that looks pretty good so now what we're gonna do is since we are keeping it matte we want to go in with a yellow shade of um, concealer and just place that on your lids and keep your head like this. So the shade that I'm going to be setting it with is this matte color from the Morphe palette. I'm going to be using this one right here, it's a little bit more of a neutral shade. And to apply it, I'm going to be using this buff, buffing brush. My god, I cannot talk, I swear to god. And we're just going to be buffing it on there. And don't worry about it being messy, just buff it on. So the shade that I'm going to be setting it with is this matte color from the Morphe palette. I'm going to be using this one right here. It's a little bit more of a neutral shade. And to apply it, I'm going to be using this buff, buffing brush. My god, I cannot talk, I swear to god. And we're just going to be buffing it on there. And don't worry about it being messy, just buff it on. You still have the brush filled with this product, so you're going to go in with that same shade and highlight the top part of your brow bone. And it leaves like this super nice effect. This part is so key. I used to skip it or put like shimmery highlighter, but I feel like using this technique will leave it looking a lot better. So just go in with a neutral shade and just highlight the brow bone. So I'm gonna be going back with my paintbrush 
and I'm going to start deepening the crease and lining it. Pff, I almost poked my eye. The shade I'm going to be using to do that look is this hot chocolatey warm brown tone. Dipping my brush and since, since it is a more precise brush, you have to go a little bit more carefully. See how it's like super pigmented? And you're gonna start working it in the crease area. Going in with this neon pink uh, and also this uh, kind of cranberry pink. And I'm gonna be mixing those two, just dusting off the excess and start um, blending that brown shade with this color. And I'm gonna be using that for the bottom lash line. I'm gonna be grabbing my mirror and I'm going to be applying um, the eyeliner. So after you place that blob there, you kind of have an idea of how thick you want it to be. So from there, you're gonna work with it. So I'm gonna start from the outer corner of my eye and flick it up and Maybe finish it right here where that eyeshadow is. And as you can see, it's going to be a very, very bold eyeliner look. So now we're just going to fill in this part here. go along with that glam look, I really want to use some big lashes. The lashes that I'm going to be using for this look are the mega volume ones. I've already gone through one pair. They're still lasting me so long. So you just apply it from the center. You take the inner corner. Place it. Whew. And then you grab the outer corner and you place it. So recently for my brows, I've been really, really liking this. I've been really liking this NYX Tame and Frame pomade. Then when you're done with the tail, you're gonna start moving your way to the center of the brow. And you're gonna start curving it to create the shape of your brow. And you're gonna start lining the bottom of your brow first. You never want to start your brow here. You always wanna start from the end and whatever product is left, that is what goes on the rest of the brow. So we're just gonna start lining the bottoms, the bottom portion of our brow. And whatever product is left on your brush, you wanna start bringing it up and creating the shape up here. I have not yet gone back to my pomade. I said gone really weird. I have not yet gone back to my pomade. I'm just using whatever product was here on my brows and just, you know, bringing it up and using that to shape it. And you really wanna have a nice shape at the end of the tail here and have these two points connect. Sometimes it just won't, so that's when you go in with some concealer and clean it up. After you spread out the product up here, you're going to start making it into a straight line. So you go back with the pomade and once again you're going to start your product at the back here. And whatever product is left, you're going to line it and keep a straight line at the top. And it's looking a little weird at the bottom, so I'm also going to be making a line. Slowly working it though. I already have my brows cut. So I'm just gonna comb them this way for the ones here at the end. And for the ones at the center, after your brow mascara is kind of running low, you wanna use the rest of the product to comb it up. And whatever you don't want up, you just go to the side. So I like these to be up personally. So I flick those up and then whatever I don't want just go at the end and there we go I'm gonna be using my favorite this is the lash sensational mascara from Maybelline and the reason I put my mascara after I put my lashes is because I feel like this looks way better 
um, for one, and it will blend your fake and natural lashes together. So there's like that blend of your natural lashes kind of combining with the fake ones. And this kind of just acts like an adhesive for it. And then for the bottom ones, you want to be careful not to put um, mascara on your skin. And if you do, just grab the flat angled brush that you used before and clean it up and just smudge it. And that'll still look really cool. I'm going to be intensifying this look by using the Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner and just going to be lining that bottom lash line. Alright guys, so that concludes the video for today. If you guys liked it and you guys try it out, you guys should definitely send me pictures. I feel like this look would go really well with like a black dress so if you guys do it you guys better tag me or something I don't know uh, I'll list my social media below so if you guys do try it out you guys could actually like you know interact with me yeah that's it for today's video and if you want to see future videos make sure you subscribe and if you want to know dead on when I post you can also push the bell and that'll notify you directly when I post. So that's it for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!